Frank Conductor Hang Test. I guess you've made it, you've been hired, now you're concerned. What's the hang test consist of? Is it easy? What do you need to prepare for? Let me answer those questions. So first, subscribe to the channel if you're looking to work in the real industry, if you have worked in the real industry, or you've been a conductor, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm always here to learn myself and also help educate the new guys and girls uh, looking to become a conductor. Hang test. Now, I'm gonna talk about the hang test for Norfolk Southern. I don't exactly know what it is for BNSF. I would invite you to go over to Rails Trails and Tales. That is John's channel. He is a BNSF conductor. I will have it linked down below also. Norfolk Southern Hangs Test is pretty easy and there is a trick that you can do to make it a lot easier. First, let's talk about this. The hang test consists of a minute and a half. That is 45 seconds each arm. What you'll do is you'll step up actually on the rail car and you'll take your left hand or right hand, whichever one, and you'll reach out and grab. It's called the grab iron or the uh, ladder handle. You know, we call it a grab iron. It's just the, the next step up. Um, normally parallel with your shoulder, okay? You'll do that, you'll hang for 45 seconds while you're hanging, fully extended hanging. They want your arms straight. Uh, you will do your hand signals with your lantern. Uh, more videos on lantern and hand signals coming soon. But you'll hang for 45 seconds with your arm completely extended. After that, you will then spin around and then you will reach with your right arm. And then you will hang for 45 seconds while you're doing your hand signals with your left hand. Um, after that, you're done. Now, is it hard? Um, it's not hard if if you've worked construction or you know you just have any type of a muscle. Um, maybe if you haven't worked out, um, it's not a big deal. I wouldn't say you have to be extremely strong to do this. Are you likely to do this in the real world? No, no. I'm telling you, I have videos on my channel. You will not be hanging off that rail car. If you do, it's not for very long. Most of the time what you do is, in the real world, you'll get up on that ladder and you'll get comfortable. Okay, you'll get up there and you'll stand on the thing and you'll wrap your arms around the, the lantern, I mean around the grab irons and the ladder itself. And then um, you, know, you get comfortable and then you go for a ride. Even some rail cars you can ride in. You actually ride up inside. If, if the platform is solid, you can actually get in there and ride. There's been times where I've literally got under a rail car and sat down on top of the brake cylinder. Told my engineer, all right, on the rear, you know, shove when you're ready, clear 40 go okay so it's not the real world you just need to focus on passing this test now what can you do to help uh, help you pass this test and, and really it just boils down just to get some exercise so if you have a gym membership great if you don't order some cheap weights all you need is 10 15 pound weights from Amazon and just start doing they call them lateral raises right take the weight take your your dumbbell fully extended arm and just just do this right here all day now look you can do it like this Okay, and then if you want to work on your rear delts, which is the back side of your shoulders, just bend slightly over and then do this number, right? And then as far as your front delts of your shoulder, you do fully extended sticking straight out. There's three easy exercises you can do to build your shoulder strength and 10 pounds will not hurt. I have had a, a shoulder injury and this is what I used to do when I worked out. I'd do 10 pound weights to work out my shoulders, especially with my rotator cuff. Um, it, has always bothered me, and 10 pounds is what I did. Now, I'm no expert. If you need to talk to your doctor before you do this, go ahead and do that, but it's 10 pounds. And uh, if you're talking to your doctor about lifting 10 pounds, you probably don't want me going trying to do a hang test. But you know, you can even use household stuff. Get a gallon of milk. Get a big water bottle. Go outside and, and get a paint can, you know, out of your garage or your shop or whatever. And just lift that joker until your shoulders start burning. And then just lift it some more until it, it really hurts. And then put it down. And you'll be sore, but you'll start building muscle. With all that being said, the biggest tip that I have to offer you, and this is what I did, is whenever you get up on that rail car and you reach laterally to grab your grab iron, unless the instructors make you grab one grab iron higher, right? So instead of leaning way out like this and your weight is more hanging off the rail car, if you reach one grab iron up, you're now going to shift your body weight up just a little bit and you're putting nowhere near the pressure on your shoulder. Okay, if they want you to reach, you know, if they, if they want you to grab one grab iron lower than you have to, but when I did the test, I just reached straight up because I was getting comfortable. I knew what I needed to do. This is more comfortable on me and my shoulders. So I'm going to reach up, I'm going to grab this grab iron. Now it's, I don't have so much weight on my shoulder, um, not as much strain. And 45 seconds, it still, I mean, it still burns, but um, just know you just need to do it one time and you'll, you'll never do it again. 
Uh, if you do, it'd be very it'd be short lived. And like I said, you'll get up there and you'll get comfortable before you start making your shoulders burn and your wrist falling off a rail car. I wouldn't go any more than one because then it becomes obvious you're basically just standing straight up and hanging on. I would probably just go one up. And if they tell you to bring your arm back down, just, just do what they say and just go for it. You'll be okay. Uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys being here. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I invite you to subscribe to the channel as we are growing quickly. So uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I will be sure and answer them, whether it be through text or video. Um, and uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.